Hello everybody welcome to Astrodefy today we are going to talk about sun jupiter yoga in the chart if sun and jupiter are together in conjunction in any house in your chart then what kind of results you can see and we are going to talk about the positive and negative results of sun and jupiter actually this is considered a really good combination a positive conjunction in astrology we are going to discuss in a minute that what kind of good results we can expect but if you are experiencing any kind of problems because of this conjunction what uh, problems can they be and what are the res, uh, remedial measures in order to improve them that we are also going to discuss so let's start this video if you want to book a consultation for yourself you can go on this website the link is shown in the description so we are going to talk about sun and jupiter today first of all understand that sun and jupiter are friends of each other and whenever two friends are together it is considered a positive conjunction and uh, not only sun and jupiter let's suppose moon and mars they are friends venus and saturn they are friends venus and mercury they are friends so whenever two friends are sitting together they will boost each other's qualities they will support each other they favor each other in order to coexist very well so su- conjunction means two planets coexisting with it, with each other so sun and jupiter when they are together this is considered a really positive and very good conjunction the reason is that sun is bright light and what is jupiter jupiter is jupiter actually is multiple things uh, sun also is multiple things but here uh, sun is bright light sun is your natural atma karak means the awareness the soul within you the 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 planet which is uh, symbolically representing the first uh, i'll say manifestation in the body that is sun and what is jupiter jupiter is the jiva karak huh the prana the, the 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 breath which keeps you alive that is jupiter and uh, jupiter is also expansion of things gradual expansion of things jupiter is dharma no uh, dharma means the morality the conscience within you and uh, jupiter is uh, the uh, uh, bhagya bhagya means the fate the luck so whenever they are together first of all you will see that where the zodiac sign in which they are sitting they will boost the qualities of that zodiac sign and the planet who is controlling that zodiac sign so let's suppose because the reason, reason is simple because sun is bright light it is what does light do it just shines through ha huh? and anything which is hidden in darkness it will come to light in the presence of the light itself jupiter is expansion of things jupiter is the space where you expand infinite space that is jupiter so uh, jupiter is akasha tatva so that is a space in general so it shows that a continuous expansion so if they are together in any sign they will be in any sign if they are together so the properties the qualities of that particular zodiac sign and the planet which controls them they will increase in the chart so let's suppose they are sitting in the sign of mercury gemini or virgo so you will see that they will increase the properties boost the properties of mercury so what is mercury logic reason intelligence learning wisdom uh, uh, learning uh, education writing communication smartness all these things they will be very high in the person uh, similarly if they are in uh, in the sign of mars aries or scorpio they it will increase the element of ambition independent approach relentlessness stubbornness positive aggression uh, uh, and uh, uh, competitive spirit will power dedication uh, ability to uh, work incessantly till you achieve your goal and uh, abil- and also a nature where you uh, get where you, where it makes person more righteous in approach if i have to get something do something i'll do it in a righteous way in a way where i don't break laws that is the condition of mars so it depends in what sign they are sitting so first of all understand that whenever sun and jupiter are together you have to look at the zodiac sign in which they are sitting and the properties of the zodiac sign as well as the planet which rules them the properties of that planet they will be boosted in personality why because sun is your personality sun is your ego jupiter is knowledge 
तो ये दे विल एनहांस दोज क्वालिटीज विद इन यू नो मैटर वेयर दे आर सिटिंग विद वॉट हाउस द हाउस ऑल्सो मैटर्स बट हाउस कम्स लेटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी द जोडी एक्स एंड द प्लानट एंड देन सी द हाउस आफ्टर दैट सी द हाउस बिकॉज हाउस ऑल्सो प्लेज अ रोल बिकॉज दे आर गोइंग टू ए बूस्ट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दैट हाउस ऑल्सो दे आर ब्राइटनिंग द क्वालिटीज ऑफ दैट हाउस वेयर दे आर सिटिंग सो इफ दे आर सिटिंग लेट सपोज इन द टेंथ हाउस सो टेंथ हाउस इज द हाउस ऑफ करियर पावर अथॉरिटी पोजिशन रिस्पेक्ट कर्म द एक्शंस विच यू डू सो दे विल बूस्ट दोज क्वालिटीज इन टेंथ इफ दे आर सिटिंग इन नाइन्थ फिफ्थ हाउस लेट्स फिफ्थ हाउस इज एजुकेशन लर्निंग विजडम राइटिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स तो दे विल बूस्ट दैट तो फर्स्ट सी द जोड़ी एक्स आई एंड द प्लानट एंड देन यू सी द हाउस तो दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू हैव टू लुक फॉर इन सन एंड जुपिटर नाउ इन जनरल the generic results what they can bring if they are well placed by well placed i mean that they are in kendra or trikona they are making raj yoga they are making uh, conjunctions or the, even if let's suppose they are sitting together i'm discussing two planetary conjunction here if they are sitting with other planets the conjunction will have varied results but if they are sitting in kendra or trikona or uh, in association with kendra or trikona lords or they are making good raj yogas dhan yogas in the chart then obviously they will have tremendous capacity to give results positive results and second uh, will be the zodiac sign in which they are sitting the planet the lord of that sign should be well placed moon should be with strong lagna lord should be strong if they are not strong the conjunction forget conjunction the whole horoscope loses its power if ascendant lord and moon are weak now the generic results what we can expect if they are well placed first of all it makes person ambitious sun is ambition i want to be something no matter even if you are coming from a really good family background your father your forefathers your grandfather they might have been big people but still it will induce a notion within you that i want to be something on my own i want to make a name for myself i should not be recognized just because i am somebody's son or i am coming from a particular family that kind of internal desire to have a individual identity that will be there so ambition should be uh, will be seen then it en- enhances curiosity if mercury is strong this will be much more much more so mercury and saturn but mainly mercury so it enhances the curiosity to know things know about yourself uh, it it can in, uh, in uh, i'll say make you curious about learning and attaining knowledge and gives multiple interest in various various subjects it can be in arts it can be in any other in, uh, area but uh, it enhances the curiosity and the learning capability and the ability to attain knowledge not just only superficial curiosity but to learn for, uh, 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 properly attain knowledge of that particular subject that can be seen then uh, it also is excellent for having good intelligence learning memory uh education deep thinking insight and uh having profound knowledge in a particular field and wisdom not everybody has wisdom knowledge is different than wisdom so wisdom comes from life experience and developing over a period of time a original thought and perception of uh, after a lot of learning in life that is wisdom so that can be seen and good sun and jupiter will always make persons humble i'll come to a point where they can make person a egomaniac also they can make person a really big uh, arrogant person but i am talking about here positive the so positive means that jupiter is knowledge sun is infinity and it shows you that knowledge is infinite even if one subject it is infinite and even if you take multiple lifetimes it won't be enough to cover that the person who knows this the person who knows the foundations of the self and the infinite infiniteness of the knowledge itself that person becomes humble in real sense sun and jupiter can make you that and this is the excellent aspect for this you have to see yogas mostly this is a rare thing i have seen in sun jupiter but it is possible i have seen this and it gives that but it is a lesser known thing it won't be seen in many charts 
इट इज पॉसिबल दो सन एंड जुपिटर कैन गिव इट बट यू हैव टू चेक द कॉम्बिनेशन फॉर दैट अनदर थिंग इट एनहांसिस द एस्पेक्ट ऑफ धर्म इन नेचर तो जुपिटर इज धर्म तो धर्म मीन्स मॉरल्स तो मेक्स पर्सन मॉरलिस्टिक तो मॉरल्स एथिक्स वैल्यूज प्रिंसिपल्स हैव अ सेंस ऑफ राइट एंड रॉन्ग ऑनेस्टी ड्यूटी कमिटमेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबल अप्रोच रिस्पेक्ट टूवर्ड्स रिलीजन ट्रेडिशन फेथ इन गॉड दैट थिंग कैन बी सीन इट मेक्स पर्सन वैल्यू द अपब्रिंगिंग द कल्चर द रूट्स फ्रॉम वेयर दे कम तो दैट इज पॉजिटिव सन एंड जुपिटर इट ऑल्सो गिव्स यू स्ट्रॉन्ग वैल्यूज एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग बिलीफ सिस्टम विच इट डज नॉट ऑल्टर्स ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इट डज नॉट लेट यू बाई फर्केट फ्रॉम योर आइडियल्स इफ इट बेनिफिट्स यू इन एनी काइंड ऑफ मटीरियल सेंस दिस इज ऑल्सो अ गुड कंजंक्शन फॉर एनहांसिंग भाग्य भाग्य मीन्स लक एंड वेन आई से भाग्य लक मीन्स द प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम सफरिंग in the world there can be a lot of suffering which you are not exposed to and people are unaware or indifferent to this so let's suppose if you are born in a well to do family which provides for you if you don't have to struggle for basic necessities of life food water clothing shelter education all these things this this itself makes your life pretty easy as compared to people who are struggling for these things so understand that world can break you immediately in a fraction of a second but if you are protected from that excruciating pain and suffering which the world can give you it is the protection of sun and jupiter the bhagya which we say luck which is giving you that so that is sun and jupiter it pro- gives you that protection from durbhagya to durbhagya means misery any kind of bad mishaps that that is durbhagya and let's suppose if a person goes through any kind of phases sometimes where they think that now everything is lost destroyed i can't recover sun and jupiter this is one conjunction which can take you out from any problems even if it it will be completely unimaginable to you that how the things are going to work out it will be completely un- unimaginable but they th- they will they work out that is how it protects the only condition when it protects is that person should be dharmic to so dharmic means that moral abidance ethics values compassion empathy a genuine sense of humanity should be present within you if you are corrupt immoral unethical and always crave bad for others nothing is going to work out durbhagya will be there so sun and jupiter can play excellent role in person's life excellent and this is uh, one of the best results what it can bring then it enhances rajas also rajas means a quality where person wants to be something in life okay so first of all it gives you a lot of self respect dignity and it gives you a pride a some sense of pride i will i'm not talking about the negative sun and jupiter here so if they are good they will give you a sense of pride in the things which you come from the religion the country the nationality the caste the culture the family anything what you belong to it will give you a sense of pride towards that here sun and jupiter give a lot of ambition high ambition for power authority name respect fame and position they don't give as much ambition for attaining a lot of money money is seen from other planets jupiter technically controls money but when it is with sun it will give you more i'll say ambition to gain respect for the knowledge for the skill for the talent that you have so it's like people should know my worth 
दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग तो हाई एम्बिशन फॉर पावर वर्दीनेस अथॉरिटी रिस्पेक्ट नेम एंड पोजिशन एंड इट गिवस यू दिस ऑल्सो इफ अदर कॉम्बिनेशन फॉर गुड करियर आर देयर प्रोफेशन आर देयर सन एंड जुपिटर इज अ एक्सीलेंट कंजंक्शन फॉर गिविंग मटीरियल प्रोग्रेस एज वेल एज स्पिरिचुअल प्रोग्रेस बोथ ऑफ दीज थिंग्स ऑल्सो दिस कंजंक्शन इज गुड फॉर लीडरशिप स्किल्स नॉट एवरीबडी हैज दैट but sun and jupiter are the controllers of management leadership power authority and good decision making so they give you that kind of uh, traits skill sets to take decisions and be a leader so that is why this conjunction is excellent for working in government any kind of government jobs and public services we can see sun and jupiter conjunction then management and administrative jobs in any industry people working in management and administration or any leadership roles then law judiciary politics medicine healthcare life science jewelry because sun and jupiter are gold media writing journalism banking financial service insurance accounts any money related areas economics political science consulting they are all good for that and jyotish astrology philosophy religious organizations they are all seen for, uh, with sun and jupiter you have to see other yogas for that but sun and jupiter are excellent for working in any of these areas and sun is your father so it can show a really remarkable influence of father upon your personality father becomes like a role model or idol for the person in a positive way if they are good they will be like you have a really healthy good relation with father respect you respect your father and you want to make your father proud of you that kind of thing and father can be successful in life also father can be in government or management or some senior leadership roles then it also shows person earns money through righteous means not through corruption it gives uh, you because jupiter is your ch child ki kid so it also is a good conjunction for having a healthy and moralistic child a good child hmm? then overall it is good for general health and well being because sun is your natural atma Ju jupiter is jiva the prana which is uh, sustaining your life continuously so if they are together and they are well placed it gives you a very uh, good health free from diseases even if some diseases are there they won't be very chronic and you will be able to overcome them easily so overall very good for health and life physical health and life and like i said jupiter it's like divine protection protection from the bhagya that can be seen ha huh? so these are the aspects of sun and jupiter in a very good way but now if they are badly placed let's suppose 9th house is not strong mercury is weak here if mercury is bad then this conjunction would function very well and moon and lagna lord the so moon and ascendant lord they are the key so if they are not functioning well and they are in negative uh, let's say in a difficult houses particularly 6th and 7th house are not considered really great for sun and jupiter so they create troubles there uh, but you have to lo uh, look through other combinations and other planets but in general if they are not well placed what they can show is that the negative aspect is that they can enhance the ego will be there but that ego will be negative now but in a sense where person thinks that everything is fine with them so let's suppose it can make person quite rigid fanatic in beliefs bigot and it gives you a thinking that you are always right it gives you a thinking that you are self righteous moralistic really high in thinking and other people are inferior their thoughts are inferior their belief systems are inferior their ideologies are inferior compared to you and this is not what actual wisdom is this is just deriving ego from your righteousness this is known as sattva ahankara okay ego derived from the morality so this can be shown if they are bad and hence it can show that person can be a really biased prejudiced judgmental in nature uh, it can 
क्रिएट मॉरल रेशियल कल्चरल रिलीजियस कास्ट क्रीड नेशनैलिटी बेस्ड ऑन एनी ऑफ दीज थिंग्स सुपी टेंडेंसी टू फील सुपीरियर आई एम हिंदू आई एम ब्राह्मण आई एम दिस आई एम दैट एंड हेंस आई एम मोर सुपीरियर देन दीज पीपल वेदर आई हैव दो स्ट्रेट्स और नॉट वेदर आई एक्चुअली नो वॉट अ हिंदू इज और नॉट आई एक्चुअली विल फील दैट ओके सिंस आई एम बॉर्न दिस वे हेंस आई एम सुपीरियर टू दैम दैट इज द पॉइंट वेयर इट क्रिएट्स अ लॉट ऑफ निगेटिव एस्पेक्ट इट कैन मेक पर्सन अ रियली बिग हिपोक्रेट अ टू फेस्ड इंडिविजुअल पीपल हु प्रिटेंड और पोट्रे टू बी रियली हाई इन आइडियल्स हाई इन morality in front of people because sun is what persona the face the which you portray to the public so it can make person really a big hypocrite in nature you don't follow what you preach it can make person a big two faced individual can't be trusted and it can generate egomania arrogance narcissism upon the things upon the knowledge upon the achievements upon the legacy or the family or whatever from where you are coming it can also show high false expectations from life and from people a narrow mindedness uh, can be given here and tendency to find fault in other people with no self introspection no capacity to see that is there anything wrong with you it's like jupiter will sun and jupiter will not let you do that and for this moon and mercury play a significant role if they are bad they can function in this way where you think that every see there can be good qualities in the person but those good qualities are becoming your enemy now what is the use of becoming highly religious and faithful to god if you don't respect people in a human way there is no need for any of those uh, uh, any kind of uh, uh, ritualistic worships if you don't understand what humanity is so it can make person only god fearing but not spiritual at all no philosophical approach at all will be there no self introspection no awareness that who i am truly will be there people who are in power it can give power it can still give you career and other things but it can show now abuse of power corruption with a hypocrite face but at a particular point a juncture if saturn or other planets are influencing some or the other way if it is influencing career and this kind of negative patterns are given loss of power loss of position loss of name loss of respect what you have earned will go away because now legacy it gives you legacy but legacy will be negative now people won't remember you in a good way they will remember you in a way in a in a negative way that this person was such and such in a disrespecting bad way ill fame that can be seen career instability can be given troubles to or troubles with father troubles to or troubles with children troubles with bosses at work place can be seen health problems of any kinds particularly cardiovascular health problems of all kinds heart problems of all kinds it enhances fat obesity cholesterol in the body liver problems of all kinds gall bladder issues gi problems thyroid problems they can be given by sun and jupiter so these are the negative results if they are not well placed in the chart but if you are experiencing any of these things i have made videos upon remedies of sun and jupiter what that you can watch the links are shown in description as well as in the cards above watch those videos listen to the remedies follow the practical and astrological remedies both as much as you can in order to improve them so that is all from my end today regarding sun and jupiter yoga and hope that you like this video if you are new to my channel subscribe below for more check on my website facebook page instagram for more information reels and post else we'll meet in the next video till then goodbye and thank you